It took a while, but finally, progress. Since the Mueller report said no collusion, we're now seeing the most vehement anti-Trumpers reconsider their own extremism. Take Chelsea Handler. For two years, she viciously attacked the Trump family, their supporters, and anyone connected was deemed evil. It wasn't normal, but she couldn't see it until now on Bill Maher. I had a midlife identity crisis once Trump won the election because I had never had my world feel so, feel so unhinged, I think. And uh, I had to pay a psychiatrist to listen to me about Donald Trump for about the first three weeks. And then once we got past that and we got to the real stuff, I realized the parallel there was my world becoming unhinged when I was a little girl. My brother died when I was nine years old. I had never related the two, but for me, as I can imagine, it must have been for so many people, it was a huge emotional trigger of everything being destabilized. And I realized just how spoiled and privileged I'd been all my life to realize, yeah. to be this upset and this out of 10 every day and the outrage and the anger. I just wanted to fight people, you know? This is good. To be able to step back and see that your reaction is less about the world and more about the stuff that's inside you. Even better, these admissions seem to be spreading. Molly Hemingway points out that even Preet Barrera admits he wasn't thinking fully rationally. His shock over 2016 made him consider secretly recording Trump in those early days. These confessions are not to be mocked, but actually they should be applauded. People are finally admitting their behavior was in part never about Trump. It was simply trauma. I went through similar stuff, but stepping back allows one to see that ta taking politics too personally clouds your thinking. Suddenly everyone is racist or everyone is sexist and everyone's colluding. But for you at home, this is not a problem because the personal isn't political, meaning politics is just one store in the strip mall of life. Mm -hmm. So when that store closes, you got other stores to go to, family, hobbies, the outside world. That's life. But if politics is personal, then life is like a game of Jenga. You pull out politics and it can all come tumbling down. At least people like Chelsea are putting their lives back together again. We should wish them well. So I think, uh, Dana, she should be applauded for her yeah. honesty. Definitely. Yeah. Well, because everyone's going through something. Yes. Everybody. Everyone that you see, they have something going on that Except they might not me. talk about it. Yeah, right. We can, well, we, yours, everybody <laughs> knows what you're going through. Yeah, because um, you tell everybody. <laughs> and remember, we say politics is not who you are. It might be what you talk about. It might be what you're interested in. But politics is not who you are. Right. I mean, Juan, we have these political fights all the time. But it's easy. You have other things that you deal with. You have kids, grandkids. You love baseball. Isn't that the healthy way to deal with life? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, but I, th I wonder if Chelsea Handler, you know, she's, I don't know that she's that funny. I'll leave that to <laughs> you to be the judge. But I wonder exactly how serious she is about all this, you know, with the, the connecting things. I do think that you're right, that there are lots of people who were traumatized by 2016. Mm -hmm. Jesse, you weren't. <laughs> no, uh, that was one of the greatest days of my life. Absolutely <laughs> traumatized when Trump leaves. That's right. Yeah, 2024 is going to be tough. <laughs> it's going to be a hard day. Uh, I, would, I would blame the media for the Trump derangement syndrome because they did not prepare Democrats for the possibility of his election. Mm -hmm. And then they halted the healing process by saying he was an imposter yeah. and hacked the election with the Russians. And then uh, the media coverage, everything has been a constitutional crisis. There's been chaos and everything has been unprecedented. But I think everybody should listen to the president when he says, sit back and enjoy the ride. Katie, there's still even people in the Republican side that are still kind of like in a weird, I think of like Jennifer Rubin oh, has never yeah. really fully recovered. Yeah, she definitely has. Maybe she needs to take some advice from Chelsea Handler and go yeah. see a psychiatrist to talk out her problems. Yeah. But I think sometimes politics can be personal. You know, it's your value system, your beliefs, but you have to keep things into perspective. And yeah. politics is not everything. And you should go out, get off of Twitter, enjoy life and things that are going to be there at the end of the day for you. And it's not going to like be Pilates. political parties. Yeah, Did Pilates. Like pil Pilates? Yeah, and well, at the end of the day, practice. I have Pilates. At the end of the day, I have on a Monday. On Monday. If that is not a new T-shirt, <laughs> somebody make it, send it to Dana. At the end of the day, I have Pilates. Aww. Oh, my God.